Welcome to this tech tip showing how to create a silhouette of a solid model using EdgeCam's geometry command. The silhouette option is part of the geometry command, which you'll find in the solids menu. This was added to EdgeCam at 2012 R2 version in response to frequent requests from customers. The function of the command is to create a silhouette by projecting the model or faces of the model that you pick along the z-axis of the active CPL. Like with any geometry creation, the active CPL, z-level, layer, and color all come into play. Note that this command does create a continuous entity, and so if you want to use it for further geometry construction, you would need to explode it using the explode command located in the edit menu. In the demo that we'll show here, we're going to extract the silhouette of an extruded part, and then we're going to use that to create a stock shape from. Let's take a look at how that works. This finished part has an irregular shape viewed from the top, viewed from the right. You'll see that it's a basic extrusion, but interrupted along several edges, and so we can't easily create a two-dimensional cross-section of the part using the typical tools many customers are familiar with. We'll switch out to the right CPL, which sets up our Z-axis along the direction to create the profile. It will be created at zero, the active Z-level, using the color and the layer that we designate, just like with any other geometry creation command using EdgeCam. Going to the Solids menu, choosing the Geometry command, you'll notice the option for a body slash face silhouette, and the prompt asks for faces or bodies. So we'll tab to the second item, the entire solid body, and when we finish, You'll notice that we have a two-dimensional cross-section of the part created along our z-axis at the z-level we asked for, and it is continuous. We're going to go ahead and explode it. The explode command is found in the edit menu, and with that item exploded, it now becomes the primitive lines and arcs that we want to use for additional geometry creation. We're going to take a quick measurement of this part. I'll demonstrate that it's roughly 12 inches, but we'll measure from one edge to the other. The feedback window reports the dimension for us, again along the z-axis of the current CPL. So using that information, we'll create a stock shape that uses the profile of the silhouette and extrudes it in the negative z-axis direction from the active CPL. 12 inches. At the prompt to select points, we'll double click the left button to chain the shape, and when we shade in the stock, you'll notice that it is properly picked up the silhouette, and the stock item is also listed on our features window.